However, my heart cannot shield the fear that grows there. If there exists justice in this world, injustice must also exist. There is beauty and comfort in this world, and so there must also be the ugly and the frightening. I fear that Genosuke-sama's eyes are too pure to be able to deal with both sides, the white and the black. It's now or never. We need everyone to understand that. In this world, time flashes by before you know it. If you miss the opportunity, recovering it is impossible. If you fail to do anything at the critical moment, it's gone forever. It's not about what you can do, but what you want to do. There's no time to hesitate. The orphanage known as 511 Kinderheim only existed because it was part of your plan. That's where you created subjects like me. When you ran away, it was to escape the reality you made. I know what he's up to, and now, Johan's warped plans are being manifested even as we speak, and this quiet town is paying in blood for your sins. We scrap in order to rebuild. We destroy so that we may create anew from the rubble. Throughout human history, the cycle has repeated itself time and again. As a race, we've learned to rebuild entire worlds, but we still can't heal our hearts and souls. Not by ourselves. That's why we have each other. <laughs> then there's hope. After all, you still have me. Not at all. I merely gave her a little push in the right direction. These feelings were already somewhere inside her. But isn't that girl a little dangerous? If she were to awaken... If she does, it changes nothing. The final and only objective of all our efforts is Kyoto Kamikurata. That's why I'm asking! Isn't it also possible she'll get out of hand? When that time comes, she'll disappear. Yo, a woman, huh? Why is it that you macho types always turn into high school boys whenever some pretty young thing bats their eyes at you? What are you talking about? Well, there was Sandra at the Lone Star, Shiori at Lonely Vale, Gladys at the Cat's Eye. They weren't girlfriends, Wong. They were waitresses. Uh, didn't you give Gladys a ring? It was a friendship ring. I'm shy. <laughs> oh yeah, that's for sure. Who else has to give a woman a present before he can order a beer from her? <sighs> Well, I'm not interested in that kind of woman anymore, okay? Until the next bimbo comes along, that is. Thanks for the compassion! Krusnik, your intention is to fight me? I cannot comply. <sighs> Good, I was hoping you'd see things my way. Positive. Therefore, I have but one course of action. A racing deputy enforcer, Able Night Road's enemy ally identification signal. Huh? In violation of Canon Law Article 188 and Ministry Duty Regulations, Able Night Road, you are hereby subject to termination. The resulting increase in mass puts enormous pressure on the body, enough to crush their internal organs. I'm well aware of that, Commander. So why did you execute the command? The head office said that these two are fugitives! If you have any evidence to the contrary, I demand to hear it right now. I'm a soldier! I don't give the orders, I carry them out! And if I don't follow the purging protocol, these two could send my entire team home in body bags! It's too late for God's mercy. Their souls are mine. Join me, and I will set them free. Life in hell can be beautiful, daughter, if you let it. Desire equals power. Mary, the bringer of light, as you are called by the church. In a short time, marks will be engraved in your body. They will protect you from what is to come. <laughs> Come on, cry like the bitch you are. I'll go easier on you. You know, make sure it's quick and painless. Mm -hmm. Damn you. Adding insult to entry? Your head is mine! <laughs> Not if I rip your intestines out first. I know 
that once the Iga are destroyed and we take dominion over Tokugawa, peace will blanket the land. There will be no need for ninja. No need for me to continue living. My sole wish is to serve you, to give my life over to your daily satisfaction. In this, my duty will finally be complete. <laughs> Such an outrageous lie. You... You've never put your faith in me. You've never trusted anyone! I was devoted and loyal to your majesty. But in all the years I've spent as your humble servant, you've never... You've never believed in any of us! What's that? What are you talking about? I am the one ruler of the Empire of the True Race. Augusta of Radica, the first and only. Is that so? Am I really to believe that you're the Empress? Is this a jest? No. You're serious. What do you know, priest? <laughs>